Bob Maddox from uh, Medford, Oregon, the, the jet bike and big pulse jet engine builder. And I'm out here in the desert at my, uh, my test uh, spot in the desert out by Klamath Falls, Oregon. And uh, I came out to do a, a final test on the, on the jet bike before we uh, do a serious run on it and, and get it sent off. Um, it's about a 250 pound thrust bike. Uh, I just did a test run on it, you'll probably see on the, on the video. Um, I, uh, I had it jetted to where it was running really good and everything, and then when I tore it down to powder coated, I uh, jetted it up, put it back together to see if we get a little more thrust out of it. And uh, I got the jetting a little bit too tall in it, so I'll pull the head back off and, and uh, knock the jetting down a little bit. If you uh, if you get it too tall, it'll it'll go rich and and uh, it'll just go out when you get when it gets too much fuel. It's not like a car engine where it'll just uh, start losing power and uh, uh, smoke and that kind of stuff. This the engine, these engines will just go out. Um, but I'll knock that down a little bit and uh, and we'll get it uh, you know really dialed into full tilt. Um, this is uh, about a 160 pound uh, bike. Um, it's like I say about probably 250 pounds of thrust, which is just going to be—it's just going to be wicked fast. I can't—I can't wait to ride it, and, and I and I can't can wait to ride it if you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's really really a beautiful bike. I'll, I'll take the camera and, and walk around the bike for you and uh, show you how it works. Okay, uh, we have uh, twin pulse jet engines, um, 115, 120 pound thrust each. Uh, their, com their combustion chambers are hooked together, so it's actually one engine with two tailpipes. Um, so they run as one, so you don't have to worry about one side going off and and uh, you know having having problems with uh, thrust issues, that kind of stuff. Um, it has is a drag bike. It uh, it has a I have a auxiliary tank here that I just open up with that ball valve shoots air into the into the engine through these uh, little tubes that you can see coming across one on each side and then as soon as the as the bike uh, fires you disconnect the um, the quick disconnect right there you got your brake up here it's got a single disc in the back you have your controls um, you have a spark here and then uh, turn this on turns the pump on which starts the engine then when I push that button it it kicks it to full throttle has a four gallon tank on it uh, you have little things like you know your air vents here you have to vent them really well it's got twin um, spark plugs down inside uh, you can't really see them but uh, it's got fuel lines two fuel lines coming out uh, with a needle uh, adjustment on it for uh, dialing in your uh, idle um, <clears throat> down underneath we can see Maddox uh, underneath. It's got all the uh, batteries and fuel pumps, a couple fuel pumps, and and uh, miscellaneous stuff under there. It's all packed in real tight. Uh, it's very very sleek bike. Um, I wrap the the heat shielding all the way around the tires, keep everything nice and cool. Should should be only a um, you know a 12, 12 second run, um, t 10 to 12 second run bike. So you might be running it for 20 seconds or so, doing a quarter. Um, but as long as you fire it up and keep going forward, um, the heat uh, is dissipated really well through the heat shields. Uh, you can see I got a actually have a lot of room on the heat shields. I left them, left the engines wide open as much as I could, um, except for where you have to put your uh, your legs over it. Uh, so shouldn't be any shouldn't be he any heating issues. It's got a uh, 3.2 million volt stun gun used for a spark box that's underneath the seat. Everything was so tight underneath that I, uh, I put it up there because you need access to it. You have to turn it on and you also have to charge it. Um, the battery is down deep inside, but I have uh, wires coming out uh, in a little hidden place where you hook the battery chargers on it and uh, a master switch that's hidden. Um, it is one freaking awesome bike, and I mean, it, it is a total terror. <laughs> I mean a total terror. You ought to, you ought to try sitting on this thing when I, when I fire it up. It's... Uh, it's a little intimidating. As a matter of fact, look at the, I don't know if you can see here, how well you can see the ground. I don't know if you can see the color of the ground, but if you look back behind the bike, see that V coming right from the tailpipes? That goes back there 40 feet. That, uh, 
that's from the shockwave, the Mach 2 sh shockwave coming out of the back of this thing. See that V coming right off the engine? Just dug that, uh, all that dirt off the top there. And this isn't, uh, this is pretty hard pack here. You can, uh, can it, can it hit the ground, see it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot. It's pretty hard on top, but the, the shockwave really digs it up. See where it's a big path all the way down there. It's really cool to get a video where you can see the, the dust going uh, going down. But anyway, this is a, it's a super cool bike. Um, I wish I wouldn't send it off as usual, but hopefully we'll, I'll get a ride on it uh, here tomorrow.